What is up YouTube, Zambies, Rick Grimes Girl here, and today I'm going to show you this homemade fidget spinner I made. It's kind of a rigging process here, as you can see, it's not all that great, but hey, it spins. I mean, that's something, right? It spins. Um, what I'm going to do for this video, I'm just going to decorate it with these little stars that I got from the store. I'm going to hot glue them on there so I know that they won't fall off. So I'm just going to stick some glue all around here. Hurry up for it dries. Let it hold for just a minute. Just gonna all oh, just kind of lay them out here so you can see. This is going to be a very interesting and decorative kind of fidget spinner. <laughs> I guarantee you won't see another one like this. Take that in a good way or a bad way. I don't know, I just got kind of in a, like a creative mood and I kind of wanted to make my own. I'm all into arts and crafts, so I thought this would be fun. Definitely a challenge. It's sticky. And getting hot glue in your hands is not fun. Definitely will burn. But it's alright, you know. It won't last long. I don't have to actually put many stars on the front side. Because it's not that much space between all these other... Stick that there. There should be room to fit one of these silver ones here like so and I'm definitely thinking we should um, because it's like Memorial Day weekend so I thought we should do something kind of American <laughs> nah okay wait I think we should all go red on this one. Got uh, more blues. Or we can, you know, take turns with it. Stick that there. I can't stand like the strings of glue. I'm getting everything stuck together. Put another red star here. So I hope you guys are having a great Memorial Day weekend. And I hope you guys are being safe. Because I don't know about you know where y'all live but around here we live near a lake so there's a lot of boats out in the water and mostly almost every Memorial Day there's like a, an incident where someone's drowned or wreck because people are just crazy enough to get out on the water and drink so 
no, 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 no. We're not going to stick this blue one on there. Because there's already too much blue. I think we're just going to go with the silver one. Again. Stick that there. There we go. And since the only small stars that's freaking silver, it's not in any other color, we're going to have to use those to stick on the ends because it's going to look kind of plain. This is... <laughs> This is some rigging, I'm telling you. But I'm having fun doing it, you know, as long as you have fun crafting, that's all that matters. My area is more into painting and drawing. I can, you know, craft some stuff. Because I used to be able to sculpt and craft really good. I haven't done it in a while. I remember one time when my grandma was in the hospital, I was, I think, 10 years old. I crafted her an angel made out of pine straw, wood, and pine cones. And I thought, it's, it's probably one of the best sculptures I made. But... Yeah, I'd have to show you guys that sometime. Anyways, that's the front of it. Dude, everything looks better when it's be just bedazzled. I'm just going to tell you that. I don't know if I sh Should I stick a star in the middle? Right here where it spins? Would that be a bad idea? Uh, for now, we're not going to stick anything in the middle <clears throat> okay now for the back side there's gonna be a lot of blue stars to cover most of the portion of the star the wood frame so we're just gonna get all that in there this down on it Hot glue is a lifesaver. Does the job. Ah, uh, yep, see that happens. Just burnt my finger again. It's all good though. It's all good. Just be careful when you're using hot glue. <laughs> if you're clumsy like I am might not be the smartest idea but hey it doesn't it doesn't matter just cause it's not gonna hurt you. well not gonna hurt you as bad at least <laughs> I should say I didn't want to put that silver star right beside the other one because it would just look weird. Oh man, why can't they make different colors in smaller portions? That would have been way better. I'm going to see if I can fit. Probably not. Oh wait, wait. Actually, yeah, it does fit. in there and make sure it don't come off because I waited too long to put it on there. Sometimes you gotta improvise. Here we go. Stick it there. Definitely gonna have to remove some of this freaking glue string. That's so annoying. 
just strands of it hangs. Hope I don't get any glue where the bearing is because then it won't spin right. But yeah guys, um, originally for this video I was gonna, oops, I was gonna um, use Orbeez to put on here. Because, you know, my creative thinking. But, genius me, I went to go put Orbeez on here to test out and it's not working right because they're so slippery and wet for the water that's on them or whatever. It's not working right. It won't stick to the freaking frame and it keeps slipping out of my hands. So I just decided to go with the stars instead. And personally, I think it's, it looks better. Now that I've done so, um, but I still don't know what to do with these Orbeez. I'm trying to think of something for for the video with the Orbeez. I don't I just don't know what to do with them. I think we should see. There's three silver, three red, and three blue. Gonna stick. Um, we're gonna go with the red because it's the next smaller size. Okay, so that's done. I'm gonna put another. Yeah, we're gonna put another silver star here. I mean, why not? Just enough glue, too. I think, possibly. This glue gun really sucks up the glue. Okay. There we go. And and there we have it. It's my decorative homemade fidget spinner. <laughs> uh, it's very festive and that in that cool. I think I did a pretty good job. So, that's all I'm going to do for this video with the fidget spinner. Anyway, this is how it spins. It looks very cool when I go to spin it, though. Cause it's so colorful. But yeah, these are the bowl full of Orbeez I had planned to do. But I guess I can just... I don't know. For pleasure. Because I see like these. I don't know if you guys have seen it. But there's these videos that has oddly satisfying. Um, things like people decorating cakes. And different patterns. And then having Orbeez and other stuff. They cut up or smush or just touch. I don't know. It's weird. But I don't know. It feels very nice the touch. Running my hand through it. Feels so good. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this homemade rigid <laughs> I don't know what you want to call this thing. But um I hope you enjoyed it. And please follow my Twitter and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so. Oh my gosh. And I'm really exhausted because I'm getting all tongue-tied with my words here, so. Yeah, I think it's a sign that I need to, like, take a break and rest. Anyways. 
Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, really? It doesn't spin on the table. Okay, well, before I leave, just know that this thing doesn't spin on the table. Wow. <laughs> well, um, also, before I do, let you guys go, um, let me know of any other ideas that you would like to see me do. Maybe wood burning, or, um, I haven't done, like, a gaming video in a while because my Elgato and my computer is just, they're literally fighting with each other. I just don't know. I have to get that set up eventually. Anyways, yeah, just comment, let me know, like this video, if you enjoyed it. If not, then, you know, I'm sorry. But, yeah. Peace.